El Paso, I'm Ricky Saias. We're here at the future site of the Chapotel Water Park in the Mission Valley. It's one of four water parks currently under construction. I'll tell you more about this project in a moment, but first, El Paso is now one step closer to getting a world-class resort and convention center. City Council voted in favor of a new incentives agreement with Great Wolf Lodge after the state legislature passed favorable legislation for El Paso regarding state convention center hotel programs. To comply with state incentives, the city executed an incentive agreement with Great Wolf Resorts. The only thing that has changed is we've put in some language in there so that we could comply with the state program. Um, they were looking for agreements that would be approved after September 1st of 2019. And so now that we're approving it in October, uh, we have the, the confidence that we're going to be able to, you know, proceed with with the next steps and, and having conversations with the comptroller's office. Great Wolf Lodge is expected to be built on a 44 acre lot on Pasel del Norte Boulevard near West Town Marketplace in Northwest El Paso. The incentive agreement includes a convention center at the resort that will be owned and used by the city. Great Wolf Lodge will be the city's first resort. City leaders say it will make a positive economic impact in our region. Uh, we're just raising the bar in terms of quality of life and place here and we're bringing in more amenities and we're really transforming El Paso. It's not no longer I'm passing through El Paso. It's actually I actually want to go to El Paso and stay. Construction on Great Wolf Lodge is anticipated to begin in 2020. It may be fall, but the city is already planning for the summer with the opening of four water parks. The resort style parks are currently under construction. Camp Cohen in the Northeast, Chapoteo in the Mission Valley, Lost Kingdom in Central, and Oasis in Far East El Paso are set to open in May. Each has a unique theme and amenities. The city's Capital Improvement Department, along with Parks and Recreation, provided a detailed presentation to Council on the project. Council approved the cost of admission, season passes, and party packages. I think everybody's going to be really surprised by the quality uh, and the experience that you'll have at these water parks at very cost-effective prices. Uh, but you also have the capability to rent cabanas, uh, 8x10s, 10x10s, or even up to a 20x30 uh, to host birthday parties, uh, events, uh, you name it. That'll be available and it'll be a great amenity for our community. The website epwaterparks.com is now up and can be used to get information and start planning rentals for special events. 2012 quality of life bonds are being used to pay for the new water parks. You can make a splash yourself by joining the water park team. The city is looking to hire dozens of lifeguards and pool attendants. Starting in November, there will be five hiring fairs. The locations are on your screen. You can also apply online under the Jobs tab at ElPasoTexas.gov. The Cielo Vista Walmart, where 22 people were shot and killed, is set to open on Thursday, November 14th. A Walmart representative gave a presentation to council outlining the store's plans to reopen and a rendering of a future memorial. The Grand Candela Memorial will radiate a single beam of light and will be made up of 22 individual aluminum arcs grouped together. The 30-foot structure will pay homage to the lives lost on August 3rd and serve as a light of hope. Walmart says it will take about four to six weeks to complete. Meanwhile, local city partners at One Fund El Paso and several other agencies have come together to provide help for those applying for financial assistance related to the August 3rd mass shooting. Applications can be completed with the help of the newly announced partner agencies. Applicants must call or email to make an appointment. The deadline to apply is Friday, November 8th. The locations are posted on the City of El Paso Facebook page. To see if you qualify, visit nationalcompassionfund.org. The fire department recognized more than 60 firefighters who risked their lives to save the lives of others. During a medal day ceremony at the event pavilion of the El Paso Zoo, Fire Chief Mario De Agustino and Mayor Di Margo handed firefighters a life-saving award. Firefighter Gregory Rapp received a Purple Heart Medal because he rushed into a burning building, suffered extensive burns, and saved a life. The fire department also recognized Firefighters of the Year Mark Avalos and Lieutenant Timothy Burns. Both gentlemen raised funds for school supplies and toys for local children. Paul Chavez from the Office of Emergency Management also received the Civilian Award for his dedication to the department. Medal Day is held every year. The city's Municipal Courts Department is celebrating Municipal Courts Week from November 4th through November 9th. Activities include vehicle VIN itching by El Paso Police at the main court on Overland, traffic safety classes, and a child car seat inspection. Municipal Court Week recognizes the hard work of municipal judges, bailiffs, and court staff, as well as the importance of Municipal Court in our community. This week actually provides a great opportunity to let the community know, find out about the court, and um, come and visit us for a good 
reason instead of a bad reason. <laughs> For a list of events, visit the Municipal Court website at ElPasoTexas.gov. With the flu season already underway, the El Paso Fire Department and the Department of Public Health have started vaccinations for health. The program provides free flu shots and health screenings for El Paso and Hudspeth County residents who are 18 or older and don't have insurance or Medicare. The services are provided every Wednesday at the Safety Health and Outreach Center at 5415 Trollbridge and on Saturdays at different fire stations. The schedule is posted at health.elpasofire.org. Juno the Elephant is recovering after undergoing successful breast cancer treatment. The 52-year-old El Paso Zoo Elephant has been treated four times for a malignant mass on her right breast. Zoo veterinary staff and other animal specialists are using electrochemotherapy and electrogene therapy to reduce that mass. Juno was diagnosed with cancer in 2016. As you can see, there's a lot happening in the city of El Paso, and you can stay up to date by visiting epconnect.today. We're on social media, and of course, you can always catch us on City TV. For Jonathan Romo, who's behind the camera, I'm Ricky Saez. We'll see you next time on Your City in 5.